Good morning, YouTube. And it's Tuesday morning, and it's freaking cold again. And I'm out here waiting for my bike to warm up. Well, I'm doing that. Take a walk down my lovely alley. And I'll show you what road conditions are like around here. <clears throat> Maybe this will get my town to finally come and repave something. Bumpy little pothole. Many more little potholes. Broken pavement, somewhat bigger pothole, and tons and tons and tons of gravel. <clears throat> There's a kind of a big pothole sort of thing. And then this section of the road is kind of like that too. Here's another hazard, leaves. I know the township won't take care of the leaves, but they could take care of the potholes. This is indicative of Pennsylvania roads. I think in general. Let's go back and see how the bike is doing. Okay, so now we're back here, <clears throat> waiting for the bike to warm up. It's really cold out this morning. It's 47 degrees, which is a 5 degree improvement over yesterday. So, hopefully I won't freeze my butt off. My jacket is very warm, and I have warm socks for my boots, and my gloves are pretty good, but cold weather pants haven't come yet. It's slightly chilly. So since I'm still learning, I'm not going very fast, so it's not that cold. Anyway, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I'm doing this. There's a lot of motorcycle vloggers out there that I really like to watch. And in fact, some of them have some really good instructional how to ride videos. So if you're learning, you should start looking around and check out some of these how to ride videos. But a lot of the people that seem to be motorcycle vlogging seem to have been riding for a while. Sure, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of people making really dumb newbie mistakes. And, uh,. You know, but I don't see anybody really vlogging their experiences of getting started as a first time rider and trying to do it the right way, not riding around a parking lot without a helmet and shorts, t shirt, and a flip flop. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to share my experiences with all of you guys. And I did order a helmet cam. Right now, I'm using my cell phone. And hopefully helmet cam will be here by the end of the week. I really wish I had thought about the helmet cam before I bought the bike because then you could have watched me go around and stall and stall and stall. And I'm sure when I get it you can still watch me go around and stall quite a few times. So that's why I'm doing this, just to share my experiences of getting started out riding. I know it's fall and it's cold and it's probably the wrong time of the year to do this. You can also get a better price on a bike at this time of the year, but I had waited a long time to come up with the money for my bike, and I had it, and I decided that I would <clears throat> gear up and, you know, take them out anyway, even though it's getting kind of chilly. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and ride safe.